terrific matchup at running back. Two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you see it? Well, you know what? It's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games. And, and here's a great example of it today. Uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins. And when you have running backs like this, the more physical team will win. the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Eagles will go with the pistol on this play. He'll go to the left. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent. But the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. A new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Throwing now to his left. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. What a way to start the game on offense. Picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm, and now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. The Eagles in the pistol. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten, they give it to the running back. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, we got the mojo flowing today, don't we? You start out the game, it's early. You pick up a couple first downs, and you think you can't be stopped. First and ten, Jackson's called on once again. Game of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down, four to go. Fix looking long. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and then almost gets picked off by the defense. The Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and four. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. stacked up on this play. He'll throw it over the middle. Right where it had to be. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down, you get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. That long game sets them up here on this play. And he's in for the touchdown. I would bet First and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Count it. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. For a touchback. Cut 
Kelsey's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. First and ten, and they'll run the football with Charles for a gain of about five. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL, and a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. Second and five. Jamal Charles, he's going to the left. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Fasano's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Charles has got it on the handoff. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Chiefs line up in the pistol offense. They need to get the playoff. Staying on the ground. Five, maybe six out of that. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call and they pick up the first down. First and ten, right back to him one more time. That picks up seven. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Kelsey's out wide on the left. Running back in motion here. Trying to beat the play clock. Airing it out. Makes the play. Well, you saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game when they play against this quarterback. Beautiful long throw down the field for the big completion. Play number six coming up on this drive. So first and goal to go. Davis is going to take the handoff now. Over the line. Touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Chiefs can tie it up with the point after. Extra point is good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. up in the slot here comes the wide receiver in motion and the quarterback is taken down that's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz 
and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Set back in long distance territory after that sack. Second down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Third and three. Looks to his left. The Eagles now move the chains. Eric Berry comes up to make the play. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw down the field for that completion. They got him down there. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. I think he's intercepted. He's got some daylight. They bring him to the turf. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Kelsey's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. First and ten. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Slashes to the left side. Shrugs off the first hit. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Kelsey's in the slot here for this play. Second down and eight. Hand off to the back. It's up six. up in the pistol formation. The play clock's running down. Jamal Charles carries the football. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That is a nice job by the running back there. He knew it was third and short, so he put that big old body up in there and grinds out the first down. Kelsey's move from the tight end position to the slot. They send the tight end in motion. Flag is out. Now first and ten. Makes the grab. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Offside defense. The defense a little jumpy right there. Still first down. That flag gives them a new set of downs. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. And they'll run the football with Charles. He'll go left. He's in for the score. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Chiefs for the extra point. It's good. The Eagles.
Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Wow, it's just a terrible thing to see, isn't it? When one of the stars on your football team, even one of the stars in the NFL, you see he's hurt like this, and if it's serious, it's, it's, it's going to be damaging to the football team. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. That second down coming up. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Reaches in, knocks it away. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looking to the right. Eagles in for the score. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Eagles for the extra point. And it's a fake. Looking for an open risk. Good and additional. Two points on the board as they convert. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. That's a timeout call. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Kelsey's move from the tight end position to the slot. Got a big lane. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. and 10 back to the ground and he'll go to the left safeties now the nfl have to cover like a corner and they got to tackle like a linebacker and that time the safety came up and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run Kelsey's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Second down, 10. That ball was in his hands. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. The 
A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. So now a third and ten. Heaving it down the field. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. The Chiefs Jesus. use another timeout here, and they have one left. Prevent defense time. First down. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. The Chiefs lined up in the pistol. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Formation. Alex Smith from the gun, scrambling out of the pocket, gets past the first wave, and he's out of bounds. up in the pistol on this play throws to the right zeroed in on that one good play call that time by the offensive coordinator down inside when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone find ways to complete the pass they did that time this will be the eighth play of this drive Coming to the line at the three. Let's Coming up, second down. Smith's back in shotgun formation. And intercepted! So that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Eagles lead by one. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff.
and he'll start his return. The Chiefs will go with the pistol on this play. And now here's the first snap of the second half. That's a tackle right near the 48. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. The Chiefs in the pistol. Second and four, Jamal Charles. And he'll try it left. Chiefs are in for the score. Well, it was a wonderful run by the running back. No doubt about it. He gets the touchdown. But let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They blocked them up front. Gave him that opportunity, and then he made it happen. Inside of the uprights. Ryan Suckup, ready for the kickoff. Spins away from contact. first down he's looking to the right here on this throw he's going to be tackled right around the 24 yard line I think the best thing to say about that play it's just a, it gained a few yards so that's what you do all plays don't score sometimes you just want to pick up a couple of yards second and two the throw to the left. Caught, picks up 20. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. This play set up by the long gainer. Fix looking long. And it's incomplete. Well, there's no doubt about it. This guy has a strong arm. That time he just sails the football way past the receiver deep down the field. Second down now. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Fix standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Fix looking long. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. The Chiefs will use a timeout here early in the second half. by the receivers getting past the yard markers makes the catch and gets the first down up, up. 
First down, following the long play. Heading right. That brings the play to an end. McCoy's out in the slot. It'll be second and nine. And he's going to pitch it here. Going to lose yards here. This play just takes so long. That's why it doesn't work too often in the NFL. Fast defenses. The quarterback makes the fake. He tosses the football outside to the runner. Nowhere to go. And he loses yards on the play. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. He's scrambling now. He steps out. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He wants to go deep. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. It's fourth and long. What do you expect? To always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. Lined up in the pistol formation. Tight end in motion. First and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. Wide to the left. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First down and 10. Charles is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Kelsey's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Second and long. Davis handed the football. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten. Back to the running back. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. On the carry. in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Second and eight. And they feed it to him again. He's got unstoppable. The 10 touchdown. Just give this guy a little hope. This running back is so fast. If you block him just a little bit, get him in the open field, look out. He can make it happen. The Chiefs with an extra point try on the way. Extra point is good. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. He 
will run this one back. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. McCoy's lined up as the single back. First and ten. McCoy's got the toss, secures the football. Fifteen minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Eagles are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Hamba Ali brings the quarterback down. Well, you're on the offensive side, my gosh. You know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. That reception picks up the first down. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. McCoy is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Throws a strike. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered. And you still couldn't make the play. Here's the first snap after the big play. He's looking long. A takeaway. That'll be a touchback. And the ball will be placed at the 20. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. The Chiefs now move the chains. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. in the slot here for this play. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Second down, even after the completion. Flip to the outside. They deck him in the backfield. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. Kelsey's the receiver all the way to the right side. Third and seven. Working that left side. Incomplete. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. All set to punt here. They pounce on him there.
the Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten. Throws the pass. And almost picked off. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route. And what happens? The quarterback just overthrows him. Quarters formation here for the defense. Vic sells the play fake and looks downfield. Right down Broadway. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Just a 10. Vic turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And he's taken down. I'm not going to blame the offensive line. They did their job. But the problem was the secondary, they were all over the receivers. Nowhere to, for the quarterback to throw it. And that is truly a covered sack. Nice play before the two-minute warning. Looking to the right side and throwing. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. in the backfield third and long touchdown and this game just got a whole lot more interesting what a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown but in today's game these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic they've got to make the catch that time he did the Eagles now will tack on the extra point Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. And he's brought down by Ryans. Kelsey's move from the tight end position to the slot. First and ten, and they'll give it to Jamal Charles, brought down by Trent Cole. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short gain. Move from the tight end position to the slot. Second and eight, Jamal Charles carries the football. He's got some daylight. What a run by Charles. Jamal Charles out of the University of Texas. He might be as fast as running back as there is in this league. You give him a little bit of a window, and he will pick up big yards. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. First and ten, and they go back to the ground. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it.
lined up in the pistol formation. Second down, 14, and they'll run the football with Charles. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long advantage goes to the defense. Let's go. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Jamal Charles trying the right side. Spins away from the hit. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Dustin Colquitt looks ready to boot this one away. Alex moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Pitches it back. The ball is jarred loose. Double tight end formation. Takes the knee. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. And this was a close one that came down to the wire. What's that feeling on the sideline right now on the winning side? Oh, it's awesome. When games are close, you're down on the sideline, you look up there every once in a while, and you go, oh, I hope we can find a way.